Hello, and welcome to Five Things You Need to Know About the Valkyrie from Atlanta Opera Podcast. I'm Thomas Voulon, Artistic and General Director of the Atlanta Opera and the Production Director of the show by Richard Wagner. It is a great joy for me to share the five things you need to know about this show. Number one, what is the role that the Valkyrie plays within the ring? The ring is a tetralogy that includes four operas, Rheingold, Valkyrie, Siegfried, and Twilight of the Gods, or also known as Gatterdämmerung. Interestingly, Wagner called Rheingold a Vorabend, a foreplay, or a prelude. He named Valkyrie Erstabend, the first evening. So, though Rheingold is a full-scale opera, Wagner thought of it as a Vorspiel, as a foreplay, to the main attraction, which is the Valkyrie and the operas that follow it. The question is why? Rheingold is a long-winded exposition that chronicles how the whole story began. From the stealing of the gold from the river Rhine to the forging of the ring to the transfer of the ring to the giants, etc., etc. By the time that we get to the Valkyrie, we are introduced to the beginning of the actual narrative's central conflicts and character developments. This opera introduces us to key characters that will be absolutely instrumental for the rest of the saga, such as Brunhilda, Sigmund and Sieglinda, whose future son Siegfried is the hero of the subsequent operas. Their actions drive the overarching storyline forward. So, the Valkyrie is where we are finally done with the exposition that Das Rheingold was, and the ring actually begins. Number two, nature. In the ring, nature plays a profound symbolic role. The basic elements of nature such as water, earth, wind, fire, are present in many scenes during the ring. Both Das Rheingold and Die Valkyrie are bookended by scenes that feature primary elements of nature. For example, Valkyrie opens with a spectacular storm sequence. We're in a forest, in a tremendous storm. A frightened human being is running for his life, chased by a mortal enemy. You can almost feel the lightning flashing and the leaves rustling under his feet. The opera ends with a ring of fire surrounding the sleeping daughter of the king of gods. Wotan touches the rock and Loga, the god of fire, surrounds the rock on which Brunhilde sleeps on with a blazing fire. In contrast, Rheingold opens with water, a mesmerizing depiction of the depths of the river Rhine, where the Rhine maidens guard the precious gold. This serene, mystical setting embodies the purity of nature and the calming effect of water. At the end of Rheingold, the god of thunder, Donner, summons a huge storm, which results in a rainbow bridge on which the gods are headed to their new abode, Valhalla. And so, Rheingold starts with water and ends with storm, and Valkyrie starts with a storm and ends with fire. Number three, the human condition. The ring is based on two foundations the popular seductive storytelling filled with special effects of dragons and dungeons, of gods and monsters, of heroes and gold, and one ring to rule them all. The other foundation, the one that I am truly drawn to, is the truth relating to the human condition. The work of Wagner is saturated with philosophy. The works of Schopenhauer and Nietzsche are often mentioned in the same breath with Wagner. The most powerful ideas in those philosophies are the will to live and the will to power. 
the universal desire of every creature to elevate their own status, may it be social, economical, or political. That is why everybody wants to possess the ring. It is about power, and that is a basic human truth. If I had to boil down Das Rheingold and put it side by side with Die Walküre, the crux of it is that Rheingold is a story about the love of power, while Valkyrie is a story about the power of love. Number four, talk about love. Love is a problematic word in English because that one word has so many meanings. Wagner, who was a great student of the Greeks, truly understood this concept and his operas are infused with his obsession with different kinds of love. While the Greeks listed eight different types of love, I like to group them into five with a couple of subsets. Number one, eros, love that is driven by desire and sex. Subsets of eros are called ludos, or flirtatious love, and mania, obsessive love. Category number two, storga, love between family members, based on belonging. A subset of storga, for example, is pragma, a long-lasting love often based on convenience or partnership. Category number three, philia, love between friends. Category four is agape, love of God, of nature, of humanity, of community. And number five, finally, the worst kind of love, philautia, love of oneself. And with that, we're back into the idea of power because love of self has everything to do with love of power. The Valkyrie is all about love and all its types. Here are some examples for that. Act one of the opera is all about Eros. We meet Sigmund and Sieglinda, a couple that falls in love, and we are witnessing their primal attraction. That erotic love is juxtaposed against a lack of love an abusive marriage between Sieglinda and her husband, Hunding. Act two is a series of duets that are focused on the idea of storga, love between family members. So we are witnessing a duet between a husband and wife, between a father and daughter, between a sister and her brother. And let's not forget in act two, the amazing love duet that depict lovers running away from society and we're back into the idea of erotic love. Act three is a magnificent act about a father who loves his daughter more than anything but is coming to the realization that their time together is coming to an end, that she's no longer a child, that she's a grown woman with her own wishes and he must let her go. This is a classic example of the love that we name as Storga. Number five. Is it possible to summarize The Ring? The Ring is a complicated saga, arguably the largest, most complex saga in the history of music. It is comprised of four evenings, of 15 hours of music, it includes 58 leitmotifs and dozens of roles. Is it possible to summarize the ring in a few sentences? The answer is an unequivocal no. But there is a merit and certainly some amusement to that exercise. So here we go. There are two big characters in the whole ring. Wotan, the chief of the gods, and Alberich, the chief of the Nibelungs. They represent the light and the dark. They come from different backgrounds, from different caste systems, but ultimately they are after the same thing, absolute power. That power is symbolized in the ring, which allows the person that possesses it to control the whole world. The first installment, the prequel, Rheingold, is a story of people at the beginning of their life, 
They are striving to get somewhere. They're giving up a lot to get to that goal. In the sequel, Valkyrie, we are reunited with one of those characters, with Wotan, who starts to realize the magnitude of the curse that is linked to the ring, his own mortality and the price that his whole family will pay for his will to power. Within the scope of the ring, Valkyrie holds a special place because at its core, it is a chamber opera, albeit with almost a hundred musicians in the pit. It's a chamber opera that is comprised of a bunch of intimate, long duets between characters that have strong, loving relationships. The reason that people all over the world are connected and connecting to operas is that operas are about the human condition. At the heart of the human condition is love and the relationships that define us, human beings, who are inherently connected to other people. That is the reason that I'm so fascinated with this story and I look forward to sharing it with you here in Atlanta. This has been Five Things to Know About the Valkyrie. I'm your host, Thomas Vulun, and if you enjoyed learning more about this opera and this production, please rate and review this podcast on Apple Podcasts. It's a great way for more people like you to find out about our content. And don't forget to follow the Atlanta Opera Podcast for more great episodes. Thank you.